I'm Craig Smizer with 1835 Realty. With over 4,600 acres, Steiner Ranch is a pretty big place, which means we have a lot of streets and therefore a lot of street names. We're gonna look at a few of them that are rooted in Texas history on this episode of Discover Steiner Ranch. Some of the original sections of Steiner have roads named after Texas Rangers. One of my favorites is Rip Ford Drive, which is located in the Chaparral neighborhood. Rip was his nickname, and his real name was John. He came to Texas in 1836 at the age of 21. He served in the Texas Army for two years, then practiced medicine until 1844, when he was elected to the Republic of Texas Congress, where he supported annexation to the U.S. It was during the Mexican War that he earned the nickname Rip. One of his duties was to send the official death notices to family members. At the beginning, he wrote out, rest in peace on each notice. Unfortunately, as the battles escalated, he had more notices to send and shortened it to RIP to save time. His was a grim duty and his fellow soldiers simply came to call him Rip which stuck and remained with him throughout his life. He went on to become a ranger and served several terms in the Texas State Senate. He would rise to the level of colonel and continued to lead troops in a variety of settings, including the Civil War. He spent the later years of his life promoting an interest in Texas history. Other roads in Steiner are named after notable Texans. Gasly Lane in the Canyon Glen neighborhood is named after Thomas Jefferson Gasly. Originally from New York, he came to Texas in 1828, obtaining a physician's license a year later. During the War for Texas Independence, he served as a surgeon in the Texas Army. He was a delegate at the Convention of 1836 at Washington on the Brazos and signed the Texas Declaration of Independence. He went on to serve in the Republic of Texas Congress. He is buried at the State Cemetery. Finally, Schleicher Trail is located in the Plateau neighborhood and is named after Gustav Schleicher. Now, obviously, Gustav isn't a real common Texas name. Turns out he was born in Germany and came to Texas in 1847 to help start a communist commune, which failed in less than a year. He settled near present-day New Braunfels with many other German settlers. He was a surveyor by trade. Schleicher became a U.S. citizen in 1852 and then was elected to the Texas House of Representatives, followed by the Texas Senate. In 1874, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, where he served until his death in 1879. He was physically a big man and considered a genuinely popular figure. He is buried at National Cemetery in San Antonio, and Schleicher County in West Texas is named after him. Steiner streets pay homage to Texas history all across the neighborhood. I'm Craig Smizer with 1835 Realty. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Discover Steiner Ranch. And remember, when you're ready to buy or sell a home in Steiner, I'm ready to help. <laughs>